lawsuits, funding delays, all kinds of challenges, a, mar a construction market that went berserk, and uh, we couldn't be here without you today, Sheila, so thank you so much. Sure, sure. sure. Woo! I mean, I, I, I was trying to rec recreate that those days, right? The displacement of the businesses, it was on the market, it was the city life, and we were trying to figure out how this could be really good for the community. But it's very, very easy for the city to act when the community is so <coughs> determined on what they want to see happen. And it's been very, very, very clear. You guys wanted this to be affordable housing that was going to serve the community. And I couldn't be happier to be here today to celebrate that. I'm also happy because the community is getting what they want, but I'm really happy because this housing is so badly needed. And I know I'm stating the obvious, but even more than just, we need more affordable housing for our seniors. There's a really bad trend afoot. And I'm getting so many calls of seniors that are in buildings and they've been there for decades and the buildings are changing hands and seniors are being asked to leave or their rents are being raised so much that they can't stay. And I think if you talk to anyone sort of in that and that's working in this field, they're, they're really the number of calls is unprecedented. We've never seen this many calls. And then there's another group of seniors that are in housing, but they don't have what they need to stay. They, they need mental health services. They need health services. They need um, services with helping to figure out their finances. So that's why projects like this is so important right now at this time. And it really is meeting, an, a, meeting a need that I, and I've been doing this for a long time, I've never seen. So I want to just thank the JPNBC. I certainly want to thank New Atlantic. Where are you? Right there. Yeah. Um, this is a fabulous team. And um, I, I, I have great confidence that the worst is behind us. Um, and that from, from this point forward, it's gonna be smooth sailing, but they have stuck with one of the longest, most difficult pre-development periods, you know, I think in our history. So I'm really, really happy that we're here today. I also just really wanna thank the, the MOH team. Uh, they stepped up with acquisition financing and also then have stayed with the project. Nora Lutz, Adam Goldstein, Joe Backer, Christine O'Keefe, um, wherever you are, there you are. A really big, a big round of applause. Great. And um, your neighborhood housing trust is providing this project with linkage. I don't see trust members here, but Harry Smith. Who? Oh, oh Harry hi. Smith's here. See, I was going to call you out, Harry Smith. <laughs> your very own Harry Smith has made sure that this project is getting the funding that it needs. So. I, I'm going to close and I'm just, I'm so happy to be here, but before I close, I did want to call out and thank our partners, our financial partners, and there's a lot of them, but HLC, Mass Housing, Mass Developments Providing Brownfields, um, Mass Housing Partnership, Boston Financial, and of course, uh, the development team, UTL and Ball Tail. It's going to be great. I can't wait to see this come out of the ground and, and and we compliment this beautiful project that TCB and Pine Street are doing. Thank you so, so, so much.